Hello, welcome to another one of our uh, videos. I'd like to welcome you from uh, HVACforbeginners.com. Uh, in this session, we're going to be looking at troubleshooting a gas furnace. Uh, if you're uh, having problems with an electric furnace or an oil furnace, uh, you can go to our uh, specific pages for those. Uh, before you start your uh, troubleshooting your gas furnace, uh, you need to make sure that the uh, normal maintenance has been done on it. When you're having problems with uh, with your furnace, the place to to begin narrowing down the problem is you start at your thermostat. Um, well, the reason I say that is if a uh, repairman comes to your house, it's going to be the first thing he does is he's going to probably go to your thermostat. What he's going to do is check to make sure that it's set to on on the heat and he's going to check the set point to make sure that it's above what the actual room temperature is. Uh, believe it or not that uh, that can solve several problems. Uh, if that's uh, all good uh, then what you want to do is uh, turn the fan switch to on and uh, that will help us in our troubleshooting at the furnace itself. We continue our uh, troubleshooting now at the actual furnace itself. Uh, we uh, had uh, turned the uh, fan switch to on at the thermostat. So now the first thing we want to do is when we at the furnace is we want to see if the fan itself is running. If the fan itself is not running then uh, uh, you will want to check uh, things like your breaker panel. Make sure your breaker is on that it's not tripped. Uh, check uh, if it has a uh, electrical disconnect at the furnace itself make sure that it is on and that uh, if it has a fuse the fuse is good uh, if you find that the breaker itself is tripped or the fuse is blown then uh, you want to do some things like uh, check the uh, wiring uh, you want to check to make sure there's no loose wires make sure the connections in the in the uh, furnace are all tight and good uh, and you want to check the check the uh, the control board stuff like that. Just look for signs of damage to the electrical wiring. Uh, as you can see on the this type of furnace right here, there's your control board. If uh, if uh, you had a problem with the breaker or something, just look for any signs of uh, burning or like damage to the control board. Uh, that will be some of the main things that uh, that will cause it. Uh, if the breaker was not tripped and if the fan is running, uh, then you can go back to the to the thermostat, set the fan switch back to automatic. If uh, you do have power to the furnace, uh, you can continue your troubleshooting by uh, checking uh, the diagnostic lights on your newer furnaces, uh, such as this one. Uh, there'll be a little sight glass in the door of the furnace and what that'll do is it allows you to look in and usually on the on the control board there will be either one or two lights and what they'll do is they'll flash uh, usually it'll flash a given number of times there'll be a short pause and then it'll flash some more uh, they will have uh, usually three colors of lights green yellow and red uh, green will usually be that uh, everything's fine they're not calling for heat or anything the yellow is usually whenever it's calling for heating or cooling it'll be flashing faster and the red it'll flash a red light usually whenever there's a problem so uh, the first thing you want to do after you know you have power uh, just look inside the sight glass and you'll and look to see what color the light is and uh, how it's flashing if it's flashing slow or fast uh, if the light is flashing, then uh, you know that you have uh, have uh, the thermostat is telling the furnace to come on. If it's flashing yellow, uh, if it's not flashing, uh, in some instances the furnace will have uh, what's called a condensate pump. Uh, what that is is basically the on a high efficiency furnace they uh, produce condensate uh, basically water condenses out of the exhaust of the furnace and it goes into this pump and is pumped away usually on these pumps there will be a uh, a uh, 
float switch so that if the pump itself is not working then it'll shut off so it doesn't cause a mess in the home. Uh, so check uh, check to make sure that uh, the condensate pump is working. Usually you can just take out a plug in the top of the thing and stick your finger in and see if it's full of water. If it's full to overflowing of water then then that's probably the problem. Uh, if you look in inside the uh, inside the people there and uh, and the light is not flashing the proper color or is not flashing at all then that's an indication that uh, you're not getting the 24 volt power supplied to the furnace uh, that could be caused by uh, a few things uh, could be the thermostat is bad and uh, we we have a page in a video that you can check check that out uh, it could also be the uh, transformer it's not uh, not as common uh, or it could be the control board itself. Uh, uh, in that case, uh, most of your control boards have a small automobile type fuse on them. And uh, that usually will blow before the transformer goes bad. So uh, if the light's not flashing at all, then uh, you want to check that fuse. And it's really simple. You can hold up to the light and see if it's, uh, see if it's blown. If it is, uh, you need to find the the problem with your low voltage wiring and fix that replace the fuse and you should be back in business uh, if the uh, control board is flashing a series of, co of codes in uh, red uh, what you'll need to do before you do anything else is count and uh, see the number of flashes and like I said usually it'll be two groups of them and then uh, on most uh, of the access doors on furnaces they'll have a have a list uh, kind of like this and it'll give you the number of flashes and it'll tell you what each flash means and it'll give you a uh, a reason for it to flash that and then uh, on most uh, of the access doors on furnaces they'll have a have a list uh, kind of like this and it'll give you the number of flashes and it'll tell you what each flash means and it'll give you a uh, a reason for it to flash that and that will help you to narrow it down if you have uh, the furnace is calling for heat the thermostat is uh, calling for heat and uh, it's flashing the proper code for calling for heat the next thing you want to do is make sure that uh, on a high efficiency furnace that the inducer motor is working make sure that uh, it's running then the next thing that should happen is uh, you will hear a, a click thing, a click type thing, and uh, you should start to see either a glow in a, a peephole there for the burners, or else uh, uh, hear a sparking sound. That'll tell you that uh, that uh, the furnace is trying to ignite. On older furnaces that don't have all these electronics and stuff, have a standing pilot. Uh, you want to look in the burner compartment and make sure that the uh, that the pilot uh, light is on and and uh, if it's not, you need to probably clean the clean the pilot assembly on it. Uh, if your uh, inducer motor is going and uh, if you've heard the click or heard the spark. Uh, and you don't see a, a light or hear the spark in the burner compartment then you could have a problem with uh, what's called the hot surface igniter uh, usually in that case uh, uh, it's a pretty simple electrical check uh, another thing is uh, if it's calling for heat and the inducer motor is is running but you don't hear the sparking or the click or you don't see the light blowing in what you want to do is feel the side of the furnace uh, the reason that is is uh, if there's a problem with uh, say the filter was too dirty or the blower motor or its run capacitor is bad usually what will happen is the furnace will get too hot and it will shut itself down on on a high limit so if uh, if it's called for heat the inducer motor is running but the the uh, igniter is not uh, trying to light feel the side of the furnace if it's uh, pretty warm then it's a good indication that uh, that there was a problem with uh, 
airflow, such as the filter dirty or the blower motor or run capacitor. Uh, and if it is, you need to clean the filter or or fix the blower motor. Now, after the igniter uh, warms up or the spark uh, begins, you should hear another click, and what that'll be is the gas valve itself will be will be energized and it will be open. Then, uh, then you should hear the the furnace ignite. You know, they're pretty quiet, but you should uh, you hear like a little poof like that usually, and uh, that'll give you an in indication that it's running. And you can look in on a high efficiency furnace. You can look in through a sight glass into the burner compartment and and see whether uh, whether the burners come on or not. Uh, if the burners come on and then shut off uh, really quickly, and then there could be a couple of problems. Uh, first thing is a flame sensor. Some of uh, some of the gas furnaces use uh, use a uh, separate flame sensor. Some use uh, igniter and flame sensor in one part. Uh, what can happen with your uh, flame sensor or your igniter combination is that it can uh, get a buildup of uh, some deposits on it and uh, when that happens then it will uh, basically block the flow of uh, electrons and uh, the furnace won't be able to tell that the burners are lit. In this case it's a really simple matter of uh, you can take it out and clean it usually. They usually don't go bad too much, but they do sometimes need, need a little bit of cleaning. Uh, the other thing that uh, can cause it to, to light and then shut off really quickly is that uh, the condensate drain on the uh, high efficiency furnace can be uh, partially plugged up. Uh, what that will do usually is uh, it will cause uh, the, uh, a back pressure type situation and uh, then when the gas uh, ignites and the furnace is running then what it'll do is the pressure switch will usually shut it down so uh, you want that's part of your maintenance too is to make sure that the drain itself is open uh, so you want to check that stuff after uh, after you've got the uh, furnace uh, lit and it's uh, burning um, about uh, a minute to a minute and a half two minutes usually uh, next thing you should notice is the blower should kick on and uh, if the blower doesn't come on it may go back to a limit problem you check the run capacitor on the blower motor it may be the blower motor itself but uh, the blower motor should come on and should run through the normal heating cycle uh, if the if the uh, furnace comes on and runs but it doesn't uh, run long enough to satisfy the thermostat then uh, there's some things that you want to check if you have an old uh, mechanical type thermostat with uh, what they call a heat anticipator on it first thing is uh, you want to think about getting rid of them because they just basically cost you money and uh, and you can uh, check out our uh, thermostat replacement video and it'll show you just how to do that uh, Another cause for it not uh, running long enough to satisfy the thermostat is uh, on a digital type thermostat uh, a lot of them have a selector switch where you tell the uh, thermostat what type of furnace you have so check to make sure it's on gas furnace and not on uh, like heat pump or electric uh, something like that. Uh, other than that the, the furnace should run till the uh, thermostat uh, is satisfied. Next thing uh, you should see is the gas will shut off. Uh, normally the uh, blower motor will run again uh, probably two to three minutes uh, maybe more. A lot of them you can select the time off and then then the blower motor should shut off. 